What's up, disc golfers? Joe here with Joe's Disc Golf, and I've got some fun stuff to talk about today. Today, we are going to Anakin Frisbee Golf Disc Golf Park. Google Translate had a little rough one with that one because we're in Taruk in Finland. Yes, we're going to have some fun going across the pond, across a continent. It is going to be a blast here. We're going to be talking about the Prodigy Discs Pro Tour happening in Europe right now, which, because of COVID restrictions, has been uh, a challenge, to say the least, this year, because countries aren't letting people travel between them because of COVID risks, and it's just been a nightmare in terms of getting disc golf, and a lot of the, the men and women who would normally come over here to play some of our tournaments and you know, some of the people who would go over to Europe and play some of the European stops there, that has been all canceled and all just awful. I mean, just just terrible. This whole thing has been rough. And and it it it's understandable to a certain extent. So it is rough, but we're here to talk about the Taruk disc golf tournament that is going on here. Sorry, I keep looking over at my notes, just making sure that I'm trying to uh, pronounce things the right way. And I will apologize ahead of time when I talk about our feature cards on both the MPO and FPO sides. But without further ado, let's get right into it. We've got a little background on this course. It is an amazing course to say the least, but it is an 18-hole meadow-oriented track near the center of Taruk. This was uh, modified in 2020. The track covers an area of 47 acres and contains many elevation differences. Now, please remember, this is a Google Direct Translate, so if it sounds like I'm talking funny, you can blame our benevolent overlord, Google. Patchy, dense trees offer challenges and a variety in the open meadow fairway. So there's there's trees, you know, it's your your standard uh, disc golf course, I'd say, where you've got some nice open holes, you've got some open lanes, but, you know, you get off of those open lines and it gets bad fast. The highest point of elevation on the course is 66 meters above sea level and offers a magnificent view over Taruk. Now, 66 meters is give or take about 200-ish feet, 175, somewhere in that range, doing some napkin math on the back of my head. Yeah, on the back of my head. This has been changed in 2021 to require payment. So if you're looking to go out there and play, it is four euros per round or 45 for the season. I don't know what that comes out to in uh, U.S. dollars, but that is the little U-Disc uh, blurb that they have right there. That is some good times right there. Now, U-Disc Live also has some of the stats here that we have going on. The baskets are Prodigy, and this tournament, this whole everything, is sponsored right now by Prodigy. Hole one is an absolute bomb of a hole. 784 feet. For some reason, they use feet. This is not in metric. Par five. I like talk about like ripping one to get open the tournament there. But don't worry if you're uh, not a big bomber. Hole two is for you. That one's only 495 feet. There are some big holes here, like I've mentioned. And we've got some shorter technical holes, including hole 14, which is only 259 feet. But don't worry, we still have multiple holes that are well over 400 feet. So that sounds like a great time there. And if you're looking to catch any of the action, you can go ahead and catch it on NBDG Media, Disc Golf Finland, or Prodigy Disc Europe. You can find those all on YouTube, and you'll be able to find out who's playing when and where, and just watch all that beautiful post-produced coverage because everything here starts in about two hours. Yeah, from recording time. Your feature card will have Jaco oh, Kankare, Elias Saarinen, and Hermanani Hekarunin. I am so sorry, everybody there. Your chase card will be Timu Lapinen, Samuel Hananin, 
Lori Lori Halamalinen and Vilami Miniko. I I am so sorry, everybody. I butchered every single one of your names. On the FPO side, which I believe there will also be post-produced coverage there, we'll have on your feature card, Anna Sophia Hapis, Vilma Kivimaki, Heidi and Heidi Lane. Your chase card will be Tina Korv, Annie Maliki, and Jenny Jenna. Here's Maki. Again, I apologize for all this. I can't wait to see what kind of scores come in. I can't wait to see some of the drives here from on hole one. That's going to be beautiful. Hole 17, no slouch either. Also, over 600 feet. Actually, it's exactly 600 feet. You know what's bad when your drop zone is still a solid... <laughs> Your drop zone is still a solid 500 feet away if you happen to go OB or miss, uh, if you end up missing anything or don't make a uh, Mando on hole one. 240 meters. Bonkers. Absolute bonkers. I can't wait to see how this one plays out. I haven't caught any of the European tour, but I'm excited to see some of this. Probably watch it on mute because I don't speak the language clearly very clearly i do not speak the language i'm again apologizing profusely here but that does that for that they tee off in about two hours from the time of recording here that is a little late for me but i will try to catch their post-produced coverage tomorrow so as always thank you for watching thank you for listening i've been joe you've been awesome remember to thank treesus when you get a drink great tree kick and if you get a less than favorable kick well reflect and repent because you have transgressed transgressed against treesus and you need to repent and find the error of your ways and correct it thank you all for watching don't forget to like subscribe follow me on social media i'm on twitter and instagram and facebook all at joe's disc golf y'all have a great day and i can't wait to see you all in the next video